Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And once again, we've been asked to solve. And once again, we're just solving a one-step equation. But this is the hardest one-step equation I could come up with, okay, guys? It's got both a fraction and a negative sign in it. Um, now, I fully expect them to try to put fractions in into algebra while you're doing the GE, uh, GED. Good news is, whenever you're doing algebra, you get your TI-30XS. So you could be using this for this problem, okay? Um, but the TI won't tell you what algebra you need to do. You have to understand the algebra. So let's take a look. I'm trying to solve. I'm trying to get this letter alone. Okay, right now the letter is not alone because it has this negative 5 halves shoved up against it. See how this number is just shoved up against this X with nothing between them? That means the two things are multiplying. So that is a fraction multiplier. Okay. Now we learned a nifty trick in the last little one step equation video. And that was that you could get rid of a fraction multiplier by multiplying by its reciprocal, its flip. So what would be the reciprocal or flip of negative five halves? Well, you would just flip the fraction upside down two over five, and you would go ahead and keep that negative. Now, you're gonna see really quickly why this is such a beautiful thing to do, but be very careful. When you're solving, you can do whatever you want. You literally can. I am doing what I wanted to do, not what they told me to do. They told me to multiply x by negative five halves, but I don't know how to multiply x. So instead I'm doing the opposite of what they told me. I'm multiplying by the reciprocal. Now, we said that we can do that as long as we do it to both sides. We keep those two sides equal, and we really have the freedom to do whatever we want. So I'm going to enclose the right-hand side in parentheses, multiply by the exact same number on both sides. Notice, those are identical. They have got to be identical. Great. Now you're going to see why I did what I did, because look at what happens on the left. Everything over here is going to cancel. A negative times a negative. Oh, I wanted a different color. A negative times a negative is a positive, so those cancel. Multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2 are opposites, so those cancel. Dividing by 5 and multiplying by 5 are opposites, so those cancel. All the garbage on my left-hand side is gone, and all I have left is that x. Wonderful. And then on the right, here's the work to do. Now, great news, if you do not know how to multiply fractions or negatives, you could put that entire thing in your TI, and it would do it for you. Um, you can including the parentheses. You can literally go parentheses, negative 20, and careful, use the negative down at the bottom in the parentheses, not the minus sign, uh, times, so I'm opening up another parentheses, negative, again, down at the bottom, two, and I use the N over D button for a fraction, N over D5. And you can see that according to my TI, it is eight. Now, mathematically, you know, I'm too lazy to type that into a calculator. It's easier to solve by, or simplify by hand. So I will show you how I would do that by hand. I would throw 20 over one to make it look like a fraction. I would cross reduce if possible. Both those numbers are divisible by five. And then I would multiply straight across. A negative times a negative is a positive. Four times two is eight. One times one is one. But when I have a one on the bottom of a fraction, it doesn't do anything. So that's just eight is equal to one. Ah. Can I say it again? <laughs> That's just X is equal to eight. <laughs> Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.